Hello everyone, I am Dilip Kumar, one of the trainers from ADC Development. First of all, I am so excited about this year. This is the first time I am hosting a professional program. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the management of ADC. Thank you so much. So, you are also excited about this event. Okay, shall we start? I would like to call Mr. Kartikeyan, operation of AJAC, to deliver the welcome to Please join our hands in the We have done this uh, project in Agile methodology. Uh, daily we had uh, stand-up calls for 20 minutes and we also posted MOM, uh, which is a uh, minutes of meeting. And uh, upon this uh, Agile methodology, we also used for tracking uh, what are the components developed by team members uh, by the tool called Trillo. 
So these are we would uh, uh, what are the components developed by whether if it is in testing, whether if it is developed. So this is the board of each individuals of the team members. By this, we, we are tracking what are the status of the, the components developed by the each individuals. Uh, we uh, this project uh, was developed by assuming that uh, this project called Ignite Photos is the company, and we uh, consider uh, this client as the Ashok. And uh, this company is operated in two locations, that is uh, Chennai and Madurai. Uh, then coming uh, will be explained by uh, Ramya. Uh, as we can see, the company we are uh, presenting uh, the Salesforce project is for Ignite Motors. Uh, as, uh, they are, as of now, they are uh, operating in two locations, uh, Chennai and Madurai, with uh, future expansions in their mind too. Uh, their requirement is for to streamline their sales and service processes alike and to enhance the customer satisfaction and the overall business operations. Uh, thus, uh, thus, we have developed a, con a comprehensive Salesforce uh, solution uh, tailored uh, for the very specific needs of theirs. Uh, you may ask, like, why Salesforce? The question may arise so. Uh, the reason being is that uh, Salesforce is a centralized platform. Uh, for managing both your sales and services activities. And also, uh, it, it can also track and you can collaborate, collaborate with your teams better. So the deals can be closed better and you can give a proper customer support. Uh, my team will brief you about what all the process we have done till now. And uh, the agenda for today is like, uh, we will brief about the community side, uh, the sales process, uh, the entire sales and service process and the conclusion. Uh, well, let me move to the side of Ignite Motors. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the site of Ignite Motors. Uh, we have uh, done. Uh, this is nothing but an experience cloud. We have used the native Salesforce uh, option uh, and we have used it for our entire ad advantage. Uh, what is actually experience cloud is like a platform. Uh, for creating branded digital uh, consumer uh, communities. Uh, we have used that. Uh, it, as you can see, there is a self-help articles. The customer can directly uh, access uh, their trade queues or any queries you want. And there's also a chatter a, a component like uh, discussions. Uh, if at all uh, he want any uh, queries, uh, he can post it. And uh, either the community or the sales, uh, uh, the service rep can help them with that. We also created a, a happy to connect, which is nothing but a chatbot. And also we have created two forms, uh, one for an inquiry, another for a case. Uh, the inquiry form, as you can, it, it is a screen flow. We have used lightning flows to capture both the lead generation and as well as uh, the case uh, that, uh, if at all, there is any case. And uh, my the team will uh, explain you thoroughly about the sales process, starting with lead generation. Uh, over to Raghav. Uh, Thank you, Ramya. Uh, here we have seen that uh, we have an inquiry form to generate the leads. Lead is nothing but a person or a company who are interested to buy our products. Uh, after coming to the website, if we want any inquiry, we will enable the checkbox and by clicking on next, we will give them one form like uh, to collect his data, like first name and uh, last name, some phone. Uh, his phone number and his email ID and where the location he interested to buy the our product like uh, we are operating in two locations both uh, in Chennai and Madurai and uh, type of car he want to buy uh, he was interested in and uh, we are selecting on Harrier and we have one option called how do you know about us like uh, the campaigns we are using like twitter instagram and facebook and youtube uh, we can select one thing and by clicking on next uh, can you give that uh, proper information phone number Uh, 
sorry for the technical glitch. Uh, after getting to here, uh, we will collect the data from the customer and uh, we are entering to our Salesforce arc. This is the arc we have created. And uh, after getting the data, we will capture that lead to uh, in this lead object. By clicking on that lead, we will We'll get all the information which was given in the website. Any open one lead site. Sure. Uh, here we can see uh, the lead object. What is his name and where he, uh, which car he was interested in, and uh, how do you know about us and uh, Chennai? Can you scroll up? And we can save that lead. And we have different stages like working contact and and close not converted and converted. That means uh, we are just communicating with the customer uh, whether he was interested or not uh, to buy the product. Uh, if he or if he was interested to buy a product, we make it, uh, we make the con uh, customer as converted as lead. Uh, can you convert that lead as? After clicking on convert, we will make the customer as one account and one opportunity and uh, one contact. Uh, the next will be explained by Sai Kishore. Uh, there was uh, while converting some of the leads, we have some limitations uh, over here, so we are getting this uh, technical glitches. Uh, sorry for that. We will be uh, rectifying the glitches uh, in the coming uh, sprints. Uh, so once it is, uh, we'll uh, assume like once it is converted, it will be converted into the accounts, contacts, and opportunities. Here, uh, this accounts, contacts, and opportunities are objects or nothing but whatever the lead uh, which was uh, which was generated from the web that will be converted to the uh, account. Here, uh, uh, the actual business will happen. So the record information of the whatever the customer given in the website will be uh, permanently stored here. So the, the, this is the record which was come from the uh, uh, web website as uh, Rago said here, and we used uh, the territory management, uh, territory management for this uh, uh, project. So territory management is nothing but uh, from which location its customer is coming from. Uh, for that, from that location, the dealer who is working in the showroom will be assigned to this customer. So this customer will be taken from uh, starting to till end and the still the building process. So here you can see that uh, whatever the customer uh, selected the product and we, uh, where he is coming from, we can directly see here. And also we done the automation like uh, whenever uh, a, a customer is giving the address that uh, uh, if this checkbox is enabled, uh, that will be automatically copied to the shipping address. This we done achieved through the uh, triggers which which was given in the Salesforce. So if you can see that uh, whatever the billing address given here, that was automatically copied to the shipping address. So we had done the, this part through the uh, triggers automation. And coming to the context, this is an object where the records of uh, whatever the information given by the user, like uh, phone number, email ID will be stored here. So opportunity is the place where uh, what are the uh, deals uh, will be taken place here. So deals are nothing but uh, what are the products selected by the customer uh, that will be uh but information that information will be stored here so if you can see like uh, this opportunity consists of uh, products as well as the codes so the coming opportunities about opportunities in detail will be explained by mutu thank you kisor for the explanation so now i am going to uh, explain how to create a product and code uh, and creating a code and send to the send that code to the customer so let me open on opportunity. Uh, here you can see the stages are in the prospecting prospecting itself. 
so let's uh, create a product for this opportunity to create a product to add a product for this opportunity you need to click this drop down and add product before uh, adding the product you just you just need a, a, a customer preferred model and the customer preferred locations to know that we just place a cursor uh, in that uh, account name you will see the customer preferred location and the customer preferred model so you you will see the, the preferred location is chennai and the preferred model is Tata Tiago uh, Petrol. So I'm going to add this product into the letter list. To add the product, uh, before adding this product, let, let me explain. Let me explain what are the let me explain what are the things are in the product. So uh, you will see the list of the product is sold by your company are they are listed here. Oh, I'm not now. I'm going to open a one product Tata Altros Diesel. So you will see the all the de uh, product details here itself. In the related leads, you can see the price book. Uh, we have, we created a two price book because uh, we have the two location. We have the showroom in two locations. So so we created two price book. In this price book, we had all the uh, uh, sell the product the selling product here. Uh, why why because we created the two these two product means uh, there is a tax differentiation between the two locations. That's why we created a two products. Uh, let me add a product in the in the customer opportunity. To add this, just click the drop down and add product. Here you will see the uh, uh, product. The customer pre preferred product is start out Tiago Petrol. So I click, just click. You will see the quantity is automatically populated. We can't create uh, as a team. We can't create this as. So quality will be populated as one. Let me save this. And the, here the product will be added. Now let's create a quote and uh, send the quote to the customer. To that, uh, we need to click on new quote. Here you can uh, give the naming convention as a account name. Just for our reference, we I click I give the name as account name and the product preferred by the customer and the quote. So I am going to give this as a expiry date as one month, uh, August that till August thirty one. So let me save this. So storage limit has been exceeded. So we are we are facing this technical glitch. Once the code has been created, you you will see the see this like this expiry date and the details are here. Let me get into the code. Uh, oh, once the uh, to send the uh, email to the customer, you just need a PDF. Uh, to for that PDF, you can't forget uh, this. Let me download this and we will show you. So you will see the Ignite Motors logo as well as the details, uh, company address, and the uh, customer preferred model and the price. All are all are the all are, all the things are listed here. So uh, Next, uh, to send this uh, mail to uh, mail this PDF to the customer, just save an email code. You'll see the. Uh, so there is some technical glitch. So we are facing this. Uh, after clicking, clicking save an email code, you will see a pop up window here. In that window, you will have the subject, all the things, and, and the PDF uh, is automatically attached. Once the PDF and uh, once the mail has been sent, let's change the status as a presented. Once the uh, status has been changed as a presented, uh, presented in the sense if the, the email has been received by the uh, customer. 
after the after that if the uh, customer want any discount 5 percentage or 10 percentage like any discount he, he or she want we we just edit this as the, the field as a five percentage or anything let me after the conversation between uh, manager and the customer and all after that uh, we uh, the discourse field has uh, been filled i will give now now five percentage to this uh, this uh, model let me save and uh, and the non discourse uh, code has been accepted after the after the code has been accepted you will uh, you will see the uh, this uh, subtotal and the grand total will be changed based on the discount once the code has been accepted on the we can uh, see the and the automation has been done here itself uh, some of the get because of the technical glitch it will not work and the uh, after the code has been accepted the this uh, field these uh, stages are automatically closed on mm, uh, uh, next process will be explained by the ramya sri now we are facing a technical glitch uh, uh, they have exceeded that limit uh, so the email limits and everything uh, so we are facing those uh, as you can see we have already converted uh, uh, if at all uh, the code is matched uh, you uh, we have uh, give the gave a lightning close option so uh, it is totally automated uh, the code will be synced back to the opportunity that we have created and uh, the stage will be uh, becoming close one uh, we made sure uh, uh, using lightning close uh, other after uh, the after the opportunity is big close one uh, you will create uh, we will start, go for our uh, order options uh, and building an order for that we have already created a custom button uh, this custom button is nothing but a quick action button uh, the back end we are using a flow Sales rep couldn't able to change the case the stages of the opportunity. Yeah, you can see it's also failed to create an order. They can't do that. Uh, let me show since uh, it is already closed one. You can see uh, we have already generated a uh, an order number for it. As soon as you create a but uh, as soon as you click the button, the order will be generated. Uh, let me go to the order. Uh, in order for the order to be uh, in order for the order to be uh, uh, activated you have to have a contract ready uh, this will be done behind hand uh, uh, using flows we have entirely automated those process the contract process uh, as you can see uh, our order has been generated uh, for this uh, set opportunity and uh, let me show like after the order is uh, generated we also made sure an automation has been done uh, which is a uh, place uh, payment status. Uh, the payment status will be not completed, but since uh, we are using our already closed one uh, because of the technical glitch, uh, most of the time it will be not completed and uh, the status will be in draft. Uh, the sales rep will manually activate the order. As soon as uh, he manually activated the order, we made sure uh, the, uh, after the payment gets completed, uh, uh, invoice and an answer will be automated. Uh, you can also see that in the related page and uh, invoice will be generated uh, for the said opportunity the billing details and you can also see uh, the account of Atsala said uh, let me click it over here uh, an asset will be created uh, based on the product they have bought this is the entire sales process and uh, sorry for the technical glitch we have exceeded the limit uh, for today, uh, and uh, uh, reports will be explained by Shiva uh, from online. Thank you, Ramya. Now I'm going to explain about reports and dashboards. Here uh, we have created the reports and dashboard. Reports and dashboard functionality provides a clear view of business performance which helps to see how the sales team is performing. 
the first we have created is based on campaigns total leads. Campaigns are a marketing effort which is done in different ways. Here we have done campaign through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Shankari. Uh, yeah. Shankari, can you please hold on? Shankari, I'm already. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, Shankari, you can uh, please unmute and you can talk. Uh, thank you, Ashok. Here we are. We have created the reports and dashboard. The reports and dashboard functionality provides clear view of a business performance, which helps to see how the sales team is performing. First one is based on campaigns total leads. Campaigns are a marketing effort which is done in different ways. Here we have done campaigns through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. The record count shows that how many records are created from each campaigns. From this, we come to know that which campaign has created more leads and which campaign has created less leads. Next, we have created opportunity closed on based on location. Opportunity closed on is nothing but product successfully owned by customer. Here we are doing business in Chennai and Madurai location. In Chennai location, 73 records of closed on opportunity is created. And in Madurai location, 48 records of closed open opportunity has been created. Next, we have created lead converter for the month of June. Here, we can see that how many leads that are converted to opportunity during the month of June. Here, we can also see the sum of opportunity amount that is generated. From this, we can see 64% of opportunity amount is generated from Chennai location and 35% of opportunity amount is generated from Madurai location. Thus, the reports and dashboard will help to increase sales growth and also improve business efficiency. Thank you. Next, the service cloud process will be explained by Kishore. Over to Kishore. Hello. Thank you, Sivashankari, for that. So, till now, uh, what we explained is the sales process. So, uh, what are the automations you have done and uh, uh, that was all covered in the sales process? Even these uh, reports uh, will help for the company to forecast uh, upcoming uh, uh, how business should be done. Uh, now, coming to the service cloud, uh, we, are, we are moving to the service process. So, what are the uh, products that was uh, bought by the customers? We need to give, uh, we need to provide service for them. So for that, uh, what we are doing is uh, we are providing service in the three channels. That is one from uh, email and another is from uh, here uh, uh, through the chat process and also one is from uh, uh, through the site itself. If you can see here, uh, we have a book service online firm and we have also the happy to connect uh, where the customer can chat with the live agent here. So these are the two channels from the site and another channel is from uh, by sending the customers to, uh, email to the Whatever the mail uh, we have mentioned here, uh, they can send the email to this and they, one of the agents will be uh, allocated to that customer and they will resolve the issue, whatever the uh, uh, issues were got by the customers. Now coming to this uh, uh, site, uh, by uh, how a customer will raise any issues will be explained by uh, Selva Kumar. Uh, thank you, Kishore. Now we will see how customer can create the case through this site. For every, for every customer who bought the product in our company, we will uh, give an order number. If order number is given by customer is matched, the case will be created. If not, if not matched, the case will be not created. Now we will try to give an, a non-existing number. Uh, we will see the error, uh, error like uh, not invalid order number like that. Now we will enter the existing order number, then, when, then only the form is appeared. Uh, here, customer enter the phone number, mobile, uh, sorry, phone number, email address, and uh, what are the issues based on the product in subject. Uh, also available the service type paid or uh, a free service like that. 
Service type is paid, service free service. City is based on location, dealer name also here. And a pick, a request for pickup or drop like that. We also appointment date and time also available here. Once customer is a, a submit the form, uh, like success message also display here. And also we auto, we also made our automation uh, to send acknowledgement, acknowledgement mail for the customer with case number. Now if you see the you see the inside or the record information will be captured uh, in case object. This is the mail for uh, our customer. Uh, here we can see the details for the customer. Uh, like phone number, like that. And the agent will be assigned to the customer uh, to uh, solve the issues. Now, email to guess how to configure the uh, Raghav is explained. Thank you, Silva. As Kishore said, uh, and the second option is uh, sending a personal, uh, send, raising a case through our personal email. Uh, by going to our Gmail, we just raise a case through the website, which was given in the website, like uh, support chennai at gmail.com. We are writing one case to that uh, email. Uh, like we are requesting some uh, user manual for the bar. This will be redirect to our org after sending the mail. Now we are going to check the org. Uh, it will take some few seconds to redirect to our org. Uh, as per the busy of this email, we have created some different agents to reach the, uh, to review some reply for the cases. Can you refresh the page? Uh, here we can check uh, what is the mail uh, sent by the customer that we can receive over here in the subject. Uh, sure, can you scroll up? Uh, as per the customer uh, given uh, subject, automatically some knowledge articles will pop up here. Uh, can you, uh, Kishore, can you go to the knowledge articles object? Knowledge articles is nothing but it's a library of uh, uh, data for to assist the agents. What are the questions and uh, frequently asked questions uh, given by the customers? We have created different knowledge articles uh, like different uh, owner manuals and uh, uh, recently facing, uh, mostly facing issues. Uh, can you go to the knowledge articles? Like DPF issue, do's and do, don't do's, uh, headlight issues. Uh, these are the knowledge articles we have created. And the next topic will be explained by Kishore. Thanks Raghav for explaining how email to case will work. Uh, here, if you can see that uh, one of the case has been raised and uh, we are making sure that uh, for the prime customers, uh, we are uh, we are 
prime customer is nothing but the customers who bought the electric vehicles from us and the top end vehicles from us we are making sure that the if at all in any case is coming from them either from chat or from email to case or uh, from the website itself uh, we are making sure that uh, to solve those those issues within the uh, given time if you can see here uh, we have um, milestones so within this uh, three hours this agent has to solve this uh, case for this customer and if you can see here uh, whenever the email has been sent uh, by this customer to uh, given email id as uh, mentioned in the website so automatically this contact name and account name will be selected and the, whatever the entitlement entitlement is nothing but here it is a service level agreement between the seller and the uh, customer so uh, based upon that uh, we will resolve the issue for the customers those who have got any uh, complications of their product now i'll explain you how uh, another uh, mode of uh, service which was given to the customer uh, will work. So uh, this is the uh, another mode of uh, uh, service resolving uh, for the customers. So here uh, the, the customer can directly chat with the agent and uh, before that uh, customer needs to give some uh, uh, prior information uh, for uh, capturing if at all any agent is not available so that whatever the prior information given by the customer will be captured into the sales source. So uh, then the whatever the uh, captured record and for that record a customer a agent will be assigned to him if you click on the start chatting you can see that uh, one of the agent is on the way a message like that here we introduce the einstein bot which is an automation so uh, and we name this bot as eva and if you can see that uh, we have uh, four buttons so connect with the sales is nothing but if at all if any customer wants to know the information which is existing in our uh, company they can click on this connect with sales yeah. and if customer wants to raise an any issue they can uh, raise a uh, case without intervention of the agent and they can also track the status of the issue and they have also uh, track the status of the order of whatever they placed in our company so i'll walk through how it will work so suppose we think like uh, one of the agent has got an issue uh, uh, and uh, we'll select this so these messages were auto populated and we have done every configuration here. So if you can see here, our, our case number has been automatically created without the intervention of any agent that is, who are working in our company. So this bot will help the agents to reduce their workload. And if at all, if any customer wants to chat with the agent also, we provided that facility also. Before going to that, uh, we need to enable uh, whoever the uh, customer uh, agent we are assigned for the cases coming from the chat. So uh, I made him uh, one means we uh, once made a uh, uh, agent available. Uh, now no customer can chat with the agent. So this messages will come again, and uh, by clicking on this, check the status of existing issue. He can chat with the customer. Suppose we think like uh, customer is not having is the case number, and uh, if we have case number, we'll click on no here. So now this chat, uh, what what's this bot will do is uh, this will connect to the agent uh, who are assigned uh, for this customer. And I click on this. If you go back inside to the, uh, if you can see here, that uh, chat has been assigned, that case has to be assigned to this agent. Now, if we can accept, we can uh, do the chatting uh, with the agent for resolving the uh, issue issue for the agent. Uthu, can you please type, uh, yeah, uh, type hi? Let's send it and go back to the site there. So if you can see here, uh, the chat communication will start here. And the, once the chat communication started, and uh, we think like uh, the communication uh, is completed and the uh, uh, issue has been resolved to this customer, I mean, going to end this chat. So once the chat is ended, uh, you can see here the chat is ended by the agent and we need to close this. Uh, this is another mode of uh, resolving issue for the customer will work here. And we also maintaining the track of uh, what, who, who uh, which agents are uh, working on which cases we can, we can see uh, through a object called only supervisor here. Here you can see that uh, this infinite innovator is a person who is working on chat and we made him the capacity workload as 40, which means that uh, 40 cases he can handle.
why we kept the 40 is he's here for uh, testing purpose so for that the reason we kept the workload as a test uh, 40 and we also as in we uh, uh, we introduced the queue concept here queues are nothing but uh, suppose we think like uh, uh, multiple customers are coming from uh, chat or uh, from the email at a time and uh, we we have limited number of pages so we need to handle those customers also we need to make them uh, resolve their issue also so here the queue concept how it will work is we assign the agents into this uh, queue and uh, but who are the agents with less number of capacity who are working on the cases that new coming cases will be routed to the uh, agents to her, those who are working with the less number of cases so this concept uh, was done by omni channel uh, omni channel at the back end uh, it will route to the agents which are coming uh, new cases new cases for the less number of capacity uh, assigned the uh, agents so this is how uh, this three modes of channels we are uh, providing the services for the customers so the next coming part will be uh, about uh, uh, service dashboards how would, uh, we have created the reports and dashboards even for the services also uh, i'll show you that this uh, reports and dashboards of uh, service will be explained by ramya Uh, sales is important at uh, and as you know, uh, having uh, your customer as a long time uh, a loyal customer matters even more. Uh, that's where the service uh, comes in, a proper customer support. Uh, as you can see, we have selected case object for those. Uh, you can see two reports, uh, one for case reason, another for case close by owner. Uh, we went for case close by owner, so we can the rep, you can uh, see who which number of how many uh, cases has been efficiently closed by the uh, the representatives of your company. So uh, it helps with the business and also for case reason uh, we select, went for case reason because uh, you can see there is a lot of issues like breakdown. Uh, and infotainment issues if it is a, a recurring issue or continuing issue. Uh, that's plaguing your company, you can uh, easily reflect it back here. So it is a proper feedback for your manufacturing unit. Uh, so you can make sure your production, uh, your production efficiency uh, can be checked uh, over this. Uh, other than that, uh, uh, we also done forecasts. Uh, let Kishore explain over there. So by natively, uh, Salesforce has given us a forecast object, which is nothing but uh, Whatever the business we have done, uh, the whole business done by the agents uh, and uh, uh, all the agents collaboratively, we can see how much revenue has been generated by the each member. So this is how it looks like. So this is for the quarterly month of July. So this much uh, we have closed and uh, this much we have committed and uh, this is the revenue which was generated. And based upon this forecast, uh, we can also we can uh, we can also uh, see that uh, how many opportunities were in closed and how much opportunities were in pipeline and uh, by this uh, business can understand how for the quarterly period uh, how business is performing and based upon this focus they can improve their business so this is how we done the project thank you thank you so much thank you so much for the opportunity to really make I would like to invite Mr. Ram, Salesforce Technical Architect, Technology, to share his feedback about this demonstration. Yeah, the demo was good, and I could see uh, most uh, all the active topics have been covered, like uh, the things we discussed with Salesforce, which includes uh, the big layout, the network pages. I hope you would have all uh, had a very good uh, experience while doing this, so I hope. You to communicate with them, but apart from that, I would just suggest you to uh, you know, keep this in your mind as well. One is we all know that Salesforce has three releases per year, right? So the updates are humongous. There, there are so many updates coming in every three to four years. So, what I want to suggest you to do is just keep updated yourself. We are receiving so many updates and we are having so many talks. So, basically, when I started my career, there were like majorly four to five clubs. So I've been into the Salesforce system for the past nine years. Now it's 
for a twenty twenty five percent out, and they are they are having forty percent here. So I would suggest you to keep updated yourself and follow the latest news especially. Uh, previously, uh, it was you know like very vague and very very you know like in a lengthy way. Now there are so many blogs and there are so many people who can uh, you know get it delivered to you in a very discreet manner. Second thing is is keep increasing your network. Because not only study, not only understanding the topics, but also sharing to others what you have already known is always matters. So very, very, uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. I hope to see you all for two places. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your great attention. Now, may I reduce this commission now. Project Manager of Technology to share his feedback about this emotion. Thanks for the invite. And in the series of course, the entire series of service for the last hour. So it was so nice to see it in the early stage. And also you have followed the other members of the series, right? It will be helpful for you when you come into the great world. So please continue. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roman. Now it's time for the guest to share his report. I would like to invite Mr. Chandra Murthy, CEO and founder of Technology, to give a guest speech and feedback about the demonstration. Sir, please. Is it okay now? Oh, okay. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Chandra. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, so, I'll take a minute to tell what we will be doing today. Uh, we are hosting the OTCC5 Cloud. I'm not sure you guys have heard of it. It's one of our Microsoft technical staff. And recently, last year, we moved into Salesforce. We will be doing very well on Salesforce as well. <coughs> the good thing about us, we consider this like uh, we, we work only on niche technologies, both these are different, Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics. So we are going in this path. So I'm happy to see that people are, you know, um, getting good knowledge in Salesforce because it is very hard to find a person who is doing Salesforce, you know. Um, this is what we have been discussing with Ashok uh, sometime back. It is very easy to get a full stack with you know, people who is good in Angular or React or probably MongoDB or something. But to go for a license based applications like Salesforce or OpenSync, it's very really hard. You know? What they've been doing, they've been getting people who are already trying to understand. We train them personally on uh, Salesforce, uh, which is taken care of by Ram and Roma. These two people are uh, heading on Salesforce. And it's very really hard to scale them. You know? We've been spending three or six months with them. Though they are already trying to do full stack development, it's very hard for us to kind of teach them uh, basics of Salesforce. So it's kind of you know, uh, fortunate for you guys to already be in uh, Salesforce, which is one of the uh, very booming technologies that has been happening in the last two years. On the technical part, I'm not good in Salesforce technical, I'm more of a Microsoft guy. So, but the business that you guys have done, I'm um, you know, kind of interested. Uh, because you have covered everything from uh, sales to servers and a lot of uh, other things that you have covered in uh, your business area, which I could relate to my stack, which is Microsoft Analytics. So I'm uh, pretty much happy that what you guys have So, how many months have been training on sales for this? Five months. Three months. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's all like uh, a month, okay. over a month. So it's all a few months for this month. It's really you know, great to see people who are uh, doing that good in now uh, within three months of time. Of course, you might have taken a month to get into that, but then two months of uh, your effort you are able to do this, it's very good. And uh, you said you were following Agile, right? That is also you know, a very good uh, approach to this, what you guys are doing. I've attended these kind of demos already. A couple of uh, training issues. They are doing projects, they are doing very well, but they don't follow a process. So, at least knowing what is the but they take daily standard calls, um, probably like you have springs a lot. So, that basic understanding that will help you a lot in the project. So, that's a, that's a very good thing. And finally, on a very lighter note, uh, you should have a very good demo plot. You know, that's what we used to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they do not, but you have to create a demo card before giving a demo. <laughs> that happens, but uh, it's such a good thing. What is the happen due to the case of the Yeah, I totally understand. 
Yeah. 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 So, I know you have done a lot. That's why you know space is uh, exceeded. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the wonderful speech, sir. You are really great this event. Even more special with your Thank you so much. I would like to call Mr. Kumar, give me feedback about his experience during this period of the session. Uh, I agree with you. Thanks, sir. Giving this opportunity uh, through this uh, clarification program, uh, personally we have improved our communication skills and presentation skills. And uh, so uh, we had the opportunity to now put the agent materials and the common cards. It's also a great experience for us. And uh, before the PhD director program, we used to come to the classroom, uh, we studied uh, the topics. And just attend our Q&A session. But uh, through this peer education program, we uh, had the opportunity to speak uh, all, all the people to everyone here. It's also a very good experience. Thank you. 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 I personal feedback would be like uh, I don't have a career gap. I, uh, I already performed at the top of the talk. I never used to have stage fright. But uh, maybe after long years, uh, even I face those things. The education uh, session helped me better. And uh, and Ashok used to give a lot of activities and how you have to professionally uh, address certain things. Uh, which uh, it was very new to me, but. Uh, uh, thanks to Ashok, we got those inputs. Other than that, uh, especially the communication, and we used to come here, said we used to see the syllabus, and we have to get the sessions ready. But uh, uh, the peer learning session helps. Uh, we can gel well with our, uh, especially our team members and staff. They even help you with few things, even if it's a hard topic. Uh, we think that uh, this is all it's all about. But uh, with uh, every presentation, uh, the people used to come with different things, and uh, and uh, Ashok used to give a lot of interview questions too. That was very helpful. Uh, I thank personally for that. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ramesh. Now I would like to call Mr. Chandramoti, he was founder of Technology. To give the gift to the participants of Erasmus. I will call you one by one. Please come and collect your gift from our honor. The first one is Tiger. This is Kati. This one is Dino. This is Kema Kuma. Savari, Ramya Sri, Adas, Amita, Darwinder Kuma, Mutu Kumaran, and Sadhu Kuma. Please give your hands to me again. We have a surprise element now. Someone among us will receive a certificate for the best performance of this peer lecture session, season 1. Totally, two trainings are getting the best performance of the presentation. Let me call out the names. One is Mr. K. Mutu Kumar. And the other one is Mr. Kumar. He explains big action. He explains well. Congratulations to both of you. You really made it work. Thank you. And now, it's time for the honor of the best team of the peer educator session season 1. And the best team of the peer educator session season 1 is none other than Team Infinity Innovator. Please give your hands to him again. Arvind Kumar, Ramya Sri, Seva Kumar, Mutu Kumar, and Sai Kisho. Please give your hands to him again.
Thank you, sir, for giving this certificate. I would like to call Mr. Vidal, placement officer of AJC, to give the thank you. First of all, thank you so much for organizing such an event. Uh, I'm here to uh, give a thank you with the heart full of joy and the heart full of appreciation. First and foremost, I would, I would like to thank uh, Sir for you. Uh, for even though it was a very short and right, you came here and uh, accepted our event and honored our uh, program. Thank you so much for coming, Sir. And uh, I would like to thank Mr. Ramesh and Mr. Ram for joining us today. Uh, you it was a very short notice. You came here as a team and honored our program. Our full of thanks from the government of ATSC, uh, uh, just giving the thanks to you, sir. Thank you so much. I would like to thank the people who joined from the online. Sharp Art 4, you have joined here, and now uh, we will see a lot of people uh, still connected and you know, uh, observing things and all. 80 people are still in online. Thank you, thank you so much. Hopefully, uh, this event will give you a boost to your participation towards the public educator. I would like to thank the peers who joined live here. Thank you all. From the morning, uh, we are even arranging the things. Even for the past two days, you are planning with us with the, all of the disturbance happened here. Thank you all, thank you so much. And especially, I want to thank the team of AGST who worked uh, for this event for the past one week. Uh, even though the planning uh, for the purchase, even the LinkedIn works are also done. Even though you have a lot of uh, you know, hard daily work, uh, especially you split time for this particular event and uh, in a very nice manner. Thank you all. I wish the next peer education session of season 2 celebration would be even more greater than this. Thank you all. All the best for the peers. Hopefully, uh, we'll see the next peer education would be great. A uh, lot of knowledge that is. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. 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 But uh, yes, uh, that the moment uh, we want to make this as a celebration. We should have like, we conduct some sessions, we just call the people, we applaud them and we go. But this time, uh, when we started this initiative, uh, because the reason why we started, I think we already told, uh, whenever people start learning sales course, they started learning about the technical plan, like uh, taking off their training and reverse writing and things. The one such feedback we constantly received from the recruiters who are uh, interviewing the candidates the people are technically sounds good, but uh, from the Business front, uh, they, did, uh, they are not able to articulate why they are learning sales, first of all, where exactly they are going to use these automations, how they are learning is going to help the business. Such part, uh, we still find uh, there is a gap uh, in the training part. So, instead of uh, again, giving that as a one more video or one more lecture on uh, how this, how sales will help the business, how you are going to do that. We want them to experience in terms of developing a project so that uh, while developing the project, they are doing all of the project on the car manufacturing one. So, uh, apart from the same course, I hope uh, these folks who participated in this project development they understand the business also better. How sales works, how service works, why the automation is very important from the sales perspective or service perspective. By the way, actually, we have uh, given them a promise that uh, the best project uh, will be demonstrated on the final. Uh, with the best people, and that's happened uh, thanks to Abhinash for making that happen. What we round of applause for Abhinash for making the promise uh, happen over here. So, thank you so much, everyone. As we told, uh, this is just a season one at the start of uh, this flying model. The season two is going to be really in a very uh, limited way. Uh, even people from online, if you're watching this, uh, we want them to be part of this event because right now we are able to include only the offline folks over here. Next point, uh, for your information, we, we have only 30 40 folks in Chennai and we have close to 600 people uh, learning from us from online from various countries and present. Now, the last five years, we are able to train and guide it close to 2000 plus folks uh, only in the So, we want uh, the only people also to be part of the PhD uh, season 2. Uh, you will get the notification in the first week of work. And thanks everyone on the AJC, for coordinating support members and staff, as well as uh, the people who are patiently waiting here, uh, the most in six, like, to provide that. Thank you so much, and thanks to all the team, making uh, all of all your uh, schedule and all, you made it happen. And you give us uh, some uh, more positive energy for us to connect the team. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Thank you. If you are interested to learn Salesforce, visit AJ Skill Development website. There you can find our 
course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offering. We are offering Salesforce Administrator and Salesforce Development courses. To know about us and the team, you can visit our About Us section. This is an organization we are doing at Salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained out and guided 2000 plus candidates so far. And if you also want to know about our placement assistance, visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category. You can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our side. You can also visit their LinkedIn pages to get to know about our trainee and also the feedback from the relevant trainees, okay? And also, if you want to do the course inquiry, click on contact us, you will see the form. You can fill the form and submit the inquiry. Our team will get back to us. Thank you.